Hello and welcome to this Palm Sense tutorial video. Today I would like to show you how you can use the Sensit wearable actually without being connected to a computer or an app or to our software. So how to get a script from the software onto the Sensit wearable. For this purpose, I've already prepared a test setup. I've just used here our um, dummy cell. I connected the working electrode to a 10 kilo ohm resistor on the dummy cell. The cable is connected to this breakout board. On this breakout board, I will now mount the Sensit wearable. To do that, it's very easy. You just look for this dot on the mounting bracket. I look for the dot on the Sensit wearable. You align them and then you turn the Sensit wearable 45 degrees clockwise. Then to connect our Sensit wearable, I have here a USB-C connector, which is connected to my laptop. Then I switch my Sensit wearable on and I'm good to go to use a PS Trace to put a script onto my Sensit wearable. Okay, have a look at PS Trace. First, I need to connect to my Sensit wearable. Um, usually you should see already here in the drop down menu the Sensit wearable. If you don't, just press the refresh button and the name most likely will appear or you need to select it from a list. Then you just connect to the Sensit wearable and for this test measurement I have chosen a really simple linear sweep voltammetry because now it's not about high performance measurements but I want to show you how to get a script on the Sensit wearable. There are multiple ways of doing this. Let's start with the first way where I want to show you how to automatically start a measurement when the Sensit wearable is switched on. Okay, first I go to the menu and let me show how the method script looks like for the parameters that I've chosen here. So this is the method script that I have chosen. Okay, on the right side, you will see a few options for the Sensit wearable. And for us, the interesting one is uh, load to memory. With this option, you will, after a script has been sent to the Sensit wearable, save it in its non-volatile memory, which just means when it is starting up, it will have exactly these parameter already loaded. If you then activate the auto run, uh, so if the auto run is enabled, these parameters that are loaded at startup will immediately be executed. To get the script onto the Sensit wearable, I need to open it in the method script editor and then I can close it because the only thing that I wanted is I wanted the script in the methods script sandbox. Now I just start my measurement and first it's just the regular LSV in PS trace that you're most likely used to. So it's just a diagonal line through the origin of the plot because I connected a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now that script is loaded onto the Sensit wearable and will start when it is switched on. Also, I have switched on the function to use the internal storage and save it. So to show you in a minute that the measurement that we have done ended up in the internal storage, let's first empty the internal storage. I just go to data, load data, internal storage. And then I go here, this is the measurement that we just did. And now I delete this measurement. So you know now that any measurement that we have after restarting the Sensit wearable and saved on the internal storage is really the one that was made there. So let's disconnect from PS Trace and let's really physically disconnect the Sensit wearable. Now I first switch it off. For that I have to hold the button a bit. And the blue light is off. Now I know it is switched off. Now I just press the button again, the Sensit wearable switches on and I see the blue light is steady. That indicates the Sensit wearable is measuring right now. When the light is blinking again, just like now, it means the measurement is done and the Sensit wearable is idle. If I connect now again in PS Trace to the Sensit wearable, I can load the data from the internal storage that was just recorded just by switching it on. And here we have it, I just open it and it's the same LSV that was previously recorded. 
This might be handy if you have like a long measurement that should immediately start when the device is switched on. Maybe if you have a marathon runner and you want to collect data throughout the whole marathon. But maybe you have measurements that should just happen at certain points of the day or maybe just on request. This is what we're going to do now. We will learn how to do measurements on requests on the Sensit wearable. So again, I go to my linear sweep voltammetry and I open the method script viewer. I don't really need the auto run function. I can just switch it off. But what I want now is I want the device to hibernate and only do a measurement when I ask it to do the measurement. One option is just to make it wake up in certain time intervals. That would be this option. Or you can make it wake up every time you press the button on the sense it wearable. I can easily demonstrate this. First, we have again to open the script in the editor, then we close it and we have the method script sandbox again available. First, I just clear the plot to make it a bit easier to see that when I start the measurement, nothing is happening. So when I activate the hibernate option, the device immediately goes to sleep when the script is starting. Now we just need to wake it up to make a measurement. And we have chosen the option to wake it up when we push the button. So when I push the button, immediately we get, again, our linear sweep voltammetry. And this is repeated every time we push the button. So if I push the button again, it wakes up again and performs the measurement again. This way you can perform the measurements on demand. If I now stop this method, because as I said, it's hibernating, it's basically counting it as an ongoing measurement. Um, I can also show you another way how to activate it. It's very similar to what you just saw. Um, so this is an extra feature. We will activate an option for that. And that is instead of waking up on a pin or button, I want to wake it up when I tap it because it does have an acceleration sensor. So I just need to change this number to 11. Um, you will find that, of course, in our documentation. And as I said, we're planning to add an option for that as well soon. And then I close this. Now I do the same thing. I just make it a new one that makes it a bit easier. So I just got the old data. And now it's again hibernating, but this time I don't even have to push the button. I just tap it. And a measurement gets performed. And just like before, when I tap it again, it will again perform this measurement. These are different ways of performing measurements with a Sensit wearable without even being connected to the software. So I could also have disconnected it, but for monitoring the repeated measurements, this was the quickest option. If you've learned something, if you found this video helpful, I highly recommend to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you should also follow us on LinkedIn so you don't miss any updates. So thanks for watching and have a great day.